This conference will now be recorded. So in previous session, we have seen how we can create a, a Apex class, global Apex class, where I am just going to have a Apex method. And if you see that class, nothing but we created this class lead manager. So lead manager is a class of uh, having a web service method and we have written our logic. Now we'll understand if I create a web service class, then what we need to do? We create the class, added web service method, we added my logic. Then next step, we have to expose my Wistel file. So we'll understand what is this Wistel and how I am going to expose it. This is my uh, second step in the server side, what we need to do. Once we create my web service method, we will generate and share with still file with client. So what is the meaning of still file and what it is? So let's understand that. Then we'll see how I'm going to generate with still file in Salesforce from a Apex class. So now when somebody say WSDL, we still, it's nothing but wave service description language. So what Apex class I have written, what a class or logic I have written, to describe it, it can be transposed to WSTL or it can be converted to WSTL. Why do we need it? Let's consider uh, this is one of my system. Um, I'm going to communicate with another system. And this system developed in Salesforce and this system may be developed in Java, C, C++ or maybe PHP or maybe WordPress, any other platform. Now, for our understanding now this system uh, understand integer as integer completely as data type but here it may be use only int or maybe this system as a python or somewhere uh, where the complete uh, syntax and everything is different now that means this system how interpret the language or how understand the program or the logic another system may not do that so now like this we have many many systems many different type of systems and if you want to integrate with them how they are going to understand these languages for that reason it's the web service what i'm writing it will convert to a common description language nothing but which wstl it's a xml based description language which can be understandable by any system by w3 standards so we still is nothing but it's a xml format for describing the services as set of endpoint operating on message so on which endpoint what messages are there how we can communicate with, with them what type of request they want what kind of response they give everything is going to be described in my wstl so it's a web service description language so this all wstl are my xml based okay and inside this it defines what are the services exposed okay and on which endpoint and based on what port nothing but if you remember i was talking about abc complete abc my address nothing but my endpoint my binding and my contract nothing but my services everything defined here so typically if you see any still file you will see something like uh, it's a xml based i'll show you right now okay, you will see something like types okay you will see something called message tag you will see something port type and you will see something called binding so each tag have a particular meaning if you see the types it defines on your web service what kind of data type you have used so i have used integer string or some types which may not be understandable by another uh, another system so all the types what i am using on this web service everything defined under the types if you see a whistle file you can go to types you can see if i have used some simple type or complex type or primitive type everything will be listed out here and then you will see something called message. So message is like what kind of uh, 
uh, operation you are doing for that what kind of elements like request and response what kind of messages you want to transmit that each data element for your operations will be uh, displayed on the message same way if you go to port type so uh, like what operations you are going to perform that you can see under port type and same way you see the binding nothing but what kind of protocol uh, port protocol and data format you are going to use everything you can see here so we'll see how i am going to get still for my apex class what i have written right now so simply what wsdl is nothing but web service description language which defines my web service what kind of services what is the request what is the response format how the services can be communicated and where the service is everything defined in my xml format which can be easily understandable by any system so now we'll see how we are going to create a web service sorry how i'm going to uh, expose the web service list and find so now we have created a apex class now if you go to that class how you can i want to set up from set up search classes you go to apex class then you can see all list of classes that is you can see something called list and find let's think i'm going to have one more classes here for now let's i go to file new apex class let's i give the name as a simple class just a class with the normal method without any web service method i am going to have a simple method here let's public void add each one method okay let me save it so now if you see i have uh, two methods say so two classes i'll have in my system let it save let me refresh it copy it from here i can write yeah you can see two classes here now if i have two classes you see the wsdl is a link i am getting only for lead manager not for simple class why because you will get to generate wsdl only for the classes which are web service class that means if the classes have implemented a method with web service keyword then only you will get an option called WSTL. That means self first understand this is a class which can expose as a WSTL because there is a web service key keyword which is going to use as a SOAP, a SOAP web service call. So now once you click on WSTL, only I can click if the class have web service method. If once you click on this WSTL, then I am going to get uh self force generated list file okay so if you have written this apps class simply click on this wsdl and then right click and click on uh, save as okay so now this is going to be my lead manager you can give any name here let's i give lead manager underscore new dot xml you can save as xml you can save as wsdl anything i just click on the save and now uh let me open this in a notepad plus plus so that i'll make you understand what this whistle looks like and from this whistle how i'll understand what are the things i have so now you see it's you can see completely xml based like all xml tag is there and whenever you see all whistle files wsql file so you will see the first or parent tag as definitions it start with definitions okay so if you see as i explained here we have different kind of tags like type message port type binding and many more things will be there so you see there is something called types okay something called message there are multiple messages you can see port type and binding okay different different thing is there so now if you see what kind of uh, data type we have used everything defined under this the schema you can talk it's more about the schema so it's a swap esports.com in the class there is a lead manager class we have used okay so now these are different kind of uh, schema which being used okay you can list it's list out everything so now primarily if you see if you go to my services under the services if you see you can see this service isn't which 
endpoint the location if you see something called soap address that is nothing but my endpoint address from the address binding and contract so there is a service called lead manager service okay so uh, for lead manager service what kind of data element we need if you see here there is data element called create new lead request okay create new lead response if you go to your apis class so now i have a method called create new lead so the data element going to be some request and response if you see that tagged as my message message as a request in the request what you want i'm going to pass some parameters okay so then same way i have new responses that's going to have some parameters so what are the parameters we have if you see here as an element of this message okay we are going to pass first name as a string type last name as a string then company name lady email lead phone see whatever you have everything you can see on your xml file same way if you see the response in the response what we have i'm sending back result as a string so these are nothing but different kind of element we have so you nothing about my types if you see this is complete all different type of types what i have defined or used on my web services so now if you see uh, the port type okay if you see the port type nothing about it defines what kind of operations can be performed on the service if you see this port type so now in the lead manager port type i have one operation called create lead create new lead my operation name so nothing but if you see in lead manager class i have a method called create new lead which is a web service method so it's nothing but one exposed service so which you can see here i have a port type lead manager port type so lead manager nothing but my class name where i have a operation or method create new lead where i have some parameter which is called create new lead request and create new lead request taking the elements as first name last name company name email phone as element and if you see as a output i am getting the message create new lead response and which is nothing but if you see as a element result okay all these things are completely defined here okay now how now if you see understood okay port type defines what kind of operations we have message defines what kind of data element i need to pass request response type defined what kind of data types we have used in this service service now if you see in the binding so binding what we talk in the binding in the binding it talks uh, how this protocol and data going to be format okay if you see here binding so i have a lead manager binding so here uh, my transportation going to used over the soap http as a operation i have a create new lead as input what i need i can pass my session informations i can pass my call options or debug header or all these inputs and some parameters i can set it up and this binding uh, if you see the binding name as lead manager binding and lead manager binding associate with a port if you see the what is port port uh, defines uh, like you what operation where i can do on which address so this is the lead manager binding port with class lead manager on this network address or network or endpoint i have my services so uh, it's quite easy to understand this soap as it's a very small soap with one method you may get a very big big uh, we still file okay where is simply what you can do just go to the end where you have services tag okay when you say services tag all the services will be binding so what are the services is exposed from there you can navigate if you see i came to services then i can see lead manager binding if i go to lead manager binding then i can see there is operation create new lead so if i go to create new lead then i can see if the, in this operation i am going to pass this input if you see here then i understood okay this input needs this parameters so like this i just broken up so by blindly go to the services what service you have 
then see what is the binding you have okay in that binding what are the operations are there in that operations okay if you have multiple operations then multiple operation tag will be there now in my method uh, in my class i have exactly one method so one operation can if you have multiple operations then we can see all so this operation is a soap soap actions where i have some input and i have some output okay so if you see this create new lead how i'm going to pass my input and output you can see here this is my input and uh, this is my output you just double click and you can see what is happening if this is my input then in that input what i want i want to pass my these parameters so i don't know what are the class but when i see this affix see this uh, uh, so i can understand what is going to happen okay so this is the easiest way to understand any description language so wstl is nothing but your description language of your web service as a xml based where you can define is defined how you are going to communicate what are the operations is there in which protocol on data format your uh, service going to connect with you and how i am going to communicate to which address everything defined on your visual file so in the next we'll see how i am going to expose this visual file to my client so what client can do with this wstl file once they receive it thank you stay tuned for next session